Welcome to this week's Titus Timeout Podcast. I'm Matthew McLaurin. In this episode, we'll be discussing fume hood types and how they work. There are two main types of fume hoods, constant volume hoods, which are also known as bypass hoods. With the sash in the open position, the majority of airflow is through the face of the hood, with a small portion passing through some control surfaces to keep flow adhered to the work surface. When the sash closes, air flows through a bypass, with the hood maintaining a constant volume of exhaust airflow. Then there are variable volume hoods that function in a very similar manner to constant volume hoods while in the open position. However, as the position of the sash varies, the volume of airflow changes to maintain capture velocity. The change in volume can be controlled by a number of different methods, including sash position, differential pressure, measured velocity, or even particle count. In the closed position, the hood operates at minimum flow rate to maintain negative pressurization within the hood to a set level. With either type of hood, it is crucial to maintain the velocity through the face of the hood. This ensures proper operation and containment of contaminants. This velocity is referred to as capture velocity. While capture velocities can vary from manufacturer to manufacturer and between types of hoods, common capture velocities are around 100 feet per minute, but could vary between 80 and 120. There are also high performance hoods and that can have capture velocities as low as 50 to 60 feet per minute and remain effective at meeting minimum containment requirements even at these lower velocities. Capture velocity can be affected by external air motion either from movement of the occupants in the room or those working in the hoods. This can result in air and contaminants escaping from the hood. It is recommended that velocities in front of the hood are designed to be 30 to 50 percent of the capture velocity. Air motion in front of the hood should never exceed the capture velocity and should generally be 50 feet per minute or less. With high performance hoods that can have capture velocities around 50 feet per minute, this means keeping any air motion in front of the hood to a maximum of 25 feet per minute, which can be extremely challenging to maintain. In a future podcast, we'll discuss how to select and place diffusers in rooms with fume hoods. For more information, please check out our previous webinars and podcasts on the Titus YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe while you're there, and thanks for taking the time out with us.